Hello, today we're going to make this awesome rain particle system in Unity and GIMP too. So let's get started. Okay, so as we can see, this is the rain particle system. I'm going to zoom right in on it so we can look at what's happening. And you can see the particles are being emitted from this blue collider. And I'm going to show you how to make that today. Also, these raindrops I made in GIMP, and I'm going to show you how to transport, um, import rather, uh, these rain particles from GIMP over to Unity quite easily. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to jump out of Unity and go right into GIMP. So here we are in GIMP. Uh, I'm going to start a new project. This is fine for now. I'll explain this in a later video about um, the image size and it's very important. But for this this process, we're just gonna, that's fine. And it starts you with a black canvas. We're just gonna, this little trash can here over on the uh, right column. We're gonna just get rid of that. So we're left with the alpha. Create a new layer. That's fine. And this layer, you can name it. I like to name things so that everything stays neat. Raindrop. Raindrop. Okay. So, keystroke shortcut is if you hold control and scroll wheel, you can make the image larger. And I just want to fill it into the page. So, hold control again and scroll wheel. And I'm going to use my tablet. Okay, I'm going to select the brush tool. And color is white. That's perfect. Um, the size, I'm going to size it down a little bit to 15. And I'm going to click, make a mark, hold the shift, make another mark. So I have a sort of a nice straight line. And then I'm going to make a raindrop that looks something like this. That's pretty good. Doesn't have to be 100% perfect here. It's a very brief glimpse. I can make another straight line here. And another straight line to here. That's my raindrop. It's perfect. I'm going to export it to my file, which is already set up to um, my project assets. This is inside of my project particles, and then the sprites for the particles. So I keep everything in order here. And I'm going to call this. I've already made one before, so this one I'll call Rain White Two. Export go with what they say here there are a couple changes you can make in here but for right now this is perfect and there it is it's over in unity so let's go over to unity and back over here in unity we're going to see the particles folder sprites and rain white 2 is the one we just imported so let's take a look at it real quick in the sprite editor here yep that's the one if we need to make any changes, we would do it here, but we're fine. Um, for right now, we need to make a material. I'm going to create a material. Call it rain drops two. And to this material, I'm going to add the sprite we just imported, Rain 2. And also, I want to checkbox the emissions and add that sprite there as well. Change this to Cutout. And you can see the raindrop right there. Now I'll add a new particle system. And I'll go to the renderer and add that new material we just made right there, raindrops too. Okay. Now we'll just change the shape 
to a box and we'll extend the X value and as you can see it gives our rain a bar now we're gonna have the rain come we have the rain fall downwards by adjusting the gravity modifier and we'll say we'll add seven now we need to add a lot more raindrops so we'll go to the emission and add, turn that up to 90 so now we can adjust um, things like how far you want the tail to go down if we zoom out here you'll see it's falling through the whole earth forever and ever so we're gonna just knock that down to two or even one it looks like yeah and you can also play with things like um, how fast it goes in random uh, start speed let's do this between two constants um, make it fall randomly that looks more natural also velocity over lifetime change on the Y scale to have it fall faster at a certain point and so on and so forth you could tweak this and now we're gonna look at it in the game so here's our new particle system in the game um, you can see the rain drops there, a little smaller than the ones I have now, but you can make them however you like for your game, and um, there it is, rain particle system. So I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe if it was, and I'll see you in the next video.